Pocahontas was my wife, and I say was rather than is, for sadly, in this year of 1621, she no longer lives. But I can tell you about her and her people and Jamestown and all sorts of things. Uh, I thought I might spend some time telling you about the early days of Jamestown uh, for a particular reason. The more you know about what has gone on here in the early days, well, the more likely you'll be alive next year. I was hoping for a bit more enthusiasm. We'd like to be alive. Well, I hope you want to survive. Whether you do or not, there are those in England who want your survival. The investors of the Virginia Company who put forward a great deal of money to get you over here. You see, corpses work very poorly. We need you alive. We need your labor. The knowledge, skills, talents, abilities, experience, those are in, in very short supply here. That is truly absurd. There was no romance between Smith and Pocahontas. Uh, in the year of 1607, when, when Captain John Smith arrived here, we talked about that. His great friend Pocahontas was by that time an elderly woman. In 1607, Pocahontas was, she had lived for an entire decade. She was 10. <laughs> you are an elderly woman. <laughs> well, more so than someone nine. Or, or seven or six or something like that. All right. I did not look like this forever. Would you like to look like this one day? <laughs> if you come, you got to go on one of the tours. Uh, Try and go on all of them if you can. But we just got done with one. It took about an hour, but the hour flew by. It's done in the living history kind of style where the guy was dressed in period clothing. He took on the character of one of the uh, one of the characters. In fact, it was Pocahontas' husband. And in that hour, he uh, did a really great job explaining how Jameson started, the ideas of the time why it was started here, what was going on in England, the rest of the world, um, and even in this new land. So I have a much better understanding of what happened here in Jamestown, just in that brief hour. Way more than I learned in my history lessons, for sure. And to be able to absorb all that while sitting on the bank of the James River is like, so awesome. Be yep. able to learn it here, and now your memory of what you learned is automatically placed in the historically significant location, and that's that's my favorite thing. Yep. About it. Okay, continue on exploring. building behind me that we're going to go in now is a museum where they have a lot of the artifacts that they have dug up. So Jamestown um, obviously is no longer a colony. It was moved, most of the people moved to Williamsburg and Jamestown became farmland. But there are hundreds of people that died on this land 
and their relics are still buried in the ground. So they're doing active, um, they're doing active uh, digging and uh, excavating to try and find some of those old relics. So we're gonna go check out this museum and see some of the things that they've found. All right, well, the museum didn't allow any photography in it. It's too bad. They had a lot of really cool artifacts in there. Um, and the floor in multiple locations was glass. So you could see down to the original foundation that they had excavated away and preserved. Uh, another thing that kind of stuck out in that museum to me was they were mentioning that this Jamestown, uh, they built a church here and it was the first Protestant church in North America. Um, in fact, Pocahontas, who got married to one of the townsmen, was married in that church and she converted to Christianity and later uh, went aboard a ship and went back, to, went back to London. So this place is just rich with, with history. And uh, the more you know, the more you understand about where we came from and how the country formed, what sort of ideals we stood for, what's important. So, and just coming to places like that, this, make that history uh, more real and come alive. Watching glass being made never gets old. Seems to be something very therapeutic about it. Relaxing, it's warm. But uh, if you saw our Asheville video uh, in Lexington glass, they make it here pretty much the same way, using the same tools. Um, so I didn't video a whole lot here because I've got a lot of video on the Asheville video. I'll link to it. But if you're, certainly if you come on over to the uh, James, Jamestown Colony, uh, you should check it out. Really cool. Okay, so you are officially Junior Rangers. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Let's see it, Ashton. What's it look like? Quentin's looks different than mine. Quentin's is different? Let's see Quentin's. We were, uh, we were oh, yeah. So they have a couple of different choices. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a different one because you can also get a patch. You get your choice between a badge or a patch. Some of the parks you just get one choice. And the badges are wooden. Do the ranger program. Daddy. Congrats, Tanner. Hey, Tanner, what did you find? Did you find a beach? Yeah, this is a neat little beach area right next to the, next, next to the glassworks house.